Today, we're going to cover the three most important dimensions that you'll come across on every project. We're going to kick off with one of the most common being the standard dimension. Pretty much all of your walls in a project are going to be dimensioned with a standard dimension. To give an example of how we can create these type of dimensions, let's take this third bedroom just here. I'll click on this wall and then I'll click on this wall just here. And if I double click above and click one more time, it's going to show us the measurement between one wall and the other, as well as the width of the actual wall, which in this case is a 90 stud wall. Now, if your dimensions aren't set up, it might come out looking a little bit something like this, which just means we need to change a few little settings, which is actually quite simple. If we click on the dimension within the settings palette, we can change the color as well as the towel length. So it suits just perfectly. So in this example, I'll just change the color back to black and I'll change the towel width to 450. 450, we'll go okay. What I like about this is that, let's say we take another dimension, say this exterior wall, we'll just pick up these points just through here and we'll click on the outside point just there. If we bring this dimension down over our original dimension that we just did, then if we drag it up, we type in 600 and we'll give this one a little dimension too. We can see that there's just a little width between each of those dimensions. Now, if your dimensions are colliding like this, it's quite easy to change them all in one move. If we hold in Alt using the eyedropper tool, select and go Control A, this will select all of our dimensions. If we go to the settings dialog, we can just type in our dimension, 450, go OK. And that should set all of our tail dimensions to 450 millimeters. But it looks like these ones aren't separated quite far enough. So let's just drag the dimension down. So it was 503. If we bring it back up, that 600, perfect. It's showing that little bit of distance in between. So I've got the tail width as well as the pen color. My size is about two and these little diagonal parts, I've got these set to one millimeter. Let's say I set them to three, just for example, they're getting a bit big, so let's turn it back. So that's how we get those dimensions set up. But if we have a bunch in a row that have the same dimension, we can use quotation marks. So we're not just looking at a big block of numbers. So say here for the patio, where we've got multiple dimensions overlapping this same area, we can go into a dimension, click into the settings, and we can give it a custom text. So to get that quotation mark, we'll just type it in here, that little quotation mark, and we'll click OK. And that's going to change it, which will simplify dimensions dramatically. You'll want to make sure that your dimensions are offset from all the areas of the plans so that it's not colliding in this case. So let's set it back another 600. There we go. And if we want to add in an extra little portion of dimension, what we can do is just hold in control. And with control held in, we can click one more time. And this is going to add to that dimension that we've already set. So that's enough with our standard dimension. Next up is our level dimension. Level dimension can be found just near our standard dimension. If we give it a click and then say click on a slab, it's automatically going to show the height that that slab has been set to. So let's say we adjust the slab so it's a meter higher. Let's go 1000, enter. It's going to automatically change those heights. This is an incredibly powerful tool for showing accurate level dimensions. If we go to settings, we can change our marker type if you have a preference just by selecting here and clicking on any of the alternatives. It'll have the same function, just a different aesthetic. Oh, and if you want this ArchiCAD file with all of its assets or any of my other tutorial files, make sure to check out the Patreon page. There'll be a link down below in the description. It's where I put all of my ArchiCAD files, as well as new ones with each tutorial. Having access to quality base files can save years of time and stress. I can't recommend them highly enough, especially if you're a beginner. With that said, let's Let's move on to our third and final type of dimension, which is going to be the pitch dimension or also known as a roof angle. Well, let's go into our source view and it's this one just here. To create one of these, we just need to go to one of the line tools, say polyline. We'll click along the line of our roof. We'll drag a line out and just line it up with that bottom starting point. We'll double click. We'll drag it out from the roof. Now from here, we'll just want to go for the angle dimensions. So we'll click here to get this so it's set up correctly. We'll just want to make sure this setting just over here is set correctly, which is going to show the inner dimension. So if if we click on the top in the middle of the line and then we click on the bottom in the middle of the line and then if we click outside just adjacent it's going to create our angled dimension from here we can click on the dimension and bring it just in and that way it just becomes a clean uniform item now just as a bonus because you stayed to the end i'm going to show you the fourth type of dimension which are going to be these level dimensions over here for elevation so let's say we want to get the height of the top of this parapet what we can do is using the standard dimension tool we can click over on construction method elevation just here if we click on top of the line then double click above then click one more time it's going to create a dimension that accurately shows the height of the elevation we can adjust this to suit so we can grab our text bring it over as well as bringing this dimension just in line with these others let's bring the text in over just so it matches up hey there we go and from there we could just create some text say so call this parapet now what's really cool about these dimensions is once they're set up if we select it and then say drag it up let's say two meters which will take it up to about 18 we'll see that it automatically changes as we've adjusted the element the more things that we can set on automatic is going to save us a lot of time in the long run so we've got a little typo actually parapet. There we go. That's one thing ArchiCAD. Please, one day, please give us autocorrect. If you like this video, for more tutorials on ArchiCAD, you can check out this video just over here. Thanks.